Introduction You'll be shocked to learn what lies at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Today, I'll tell you where the Megalodon could be hiding. What strange sounds emanate from the deepest point of the world's oceans, and who lives in such dreadful conditions? In the end, you'll find out which discovery shocked scientists the most. Enjoy watching. How deep underwater do you think a diver could descend? If we're talking about the best of the best, the world record would be around 1,000 feet. Quite a lot, isn't it? But what about aquatic creatures? How deep does one of the largest of them dive? Well, a sperm whale typically dives to 8,800 feet. Sounds unreal, right? Yet the Titanic sank even deeper. Its wreckage was found at a depth of 12,300 feet. But why it is so difficult for humans to dive underwater? It's because every 32 feet of water exerts pressure on organisms with the same force as at the Earth's surface. So, at a depth of 1,000 feet, which is the world record for divers, the pressure equals 31 atmospheres. Still not clear? It's like having 70 pounds of weight pressing down on every square inch of your body. Basically, imagine being crushed by a truck. But don't think that the Titanic sank at the deepest point of the world's oceans. In fact, it's not even halfway to the depth that can be reached. Do you know what the highest point on Earth is? Mount Everest, towering 29,000 feet above sea level, but even this massive mountain can't surpass the Mariana Trench. Its depth is an astonishing 6.8 miles. A hiding place for extraterrestrials? If you haven't figured it out yet, today I'll tell you about all the mysteries and enigmas surrounding the Mariana Trench. And the first question that concerns all of us is, is there a life at such immense depths? But before answering that question, I'd like to ask you, do you think anything could survive when the pressure around it exceeds Earth's by 1100 times? Yes, I also believe surviving in such conditions is simply impossible, but nature thinks otherwise. Scientists have already discovered remarkable organisms at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. There were quite unusual transculent creatures drifting in the water, and even though there is no sunlight at such depths, as it stops penetrating the water after 3,200 feet, these amazing animals still find a way to exist. But that's not all. In 2021, Chinese scientists discovered giant mimi viruses in the Mariana Trench. According to scientists, they're completely safe for humans. Research found more than 10 new types of viruses that had never been detected anywhere before. And the most interesting part is that among them were true giants, many times larger than existing viruses. But scientists believe that such a discovery is completely safe for humans. After all, these viruses do not cause serious illnesses. However, who knows, maybe in a few years one of them will mutate and start turning people into zombies. But all these organisms and viruses can still somehow be explained by science and logic. What American scientists found in 2014 shocked everyone. The thing is, strange sounds were discovered at great depths, and they have an extremely wide frequency range. It starts from 38 hertz and goes up to 8,000. As experts say, these strange signals resemble both moans and some metallic scrapping or impacts. But what is there in this trench to produce such strange sounds? Scientists tried to reassure the public with their statements. They said these were calls of small beaked whales, a type of dwarf whale. They inhibit roughly that area, so you can breathe a sigh of relief if you trust these charlatans. Because their statement can be shattered to pieces with just one observation. The thing is, whales make such sounds during mating. And this happens only in winter, not in summer, so what's special here, you may ask me? The fact that strange sounds were recorded throughout the year. So, who is actually making them? Unfortunately or fortunately, we cannot answer this question definitively right now. We can only observe and document it from the sidelines, and that's what scientists are doing. 
They send special autonomous vessels to a depth of 3,200 feet, which drift underwater for months, recording everything necessary for people. But doesn't it seem strange to you that such strange discoveries are being made exactly at the deepest point on Earth, where it's most difficult for humans to reach? <laughs> what else could ever be love global ocean hide? Well, practically anything, because after all, in essence, it's less explored than the distant moon. We still don't know how many species of animals and fish inhibit the ocean whether there are any caves in it, and how many cities and civilizations have been washed away by water. We've only heard the story of one Atlantis, but perhaps there are even intelligent beings in the ocean that surpass us? But let's not talk about such things until we have any evidence. After all, there are things that cannot be kept silent about, but scientists are forced to do so. Essentially, as you may know, people have been studying the Mariana Trench for a long time. And in early 2000s, they dove underwater again to find something interesting. At one point, people on board heard strange sounds and the sensors detected something huge approaching the bathyscaphe. cave. In a moment, the vessel was shaken violently. No one understood what was happening and what creature it could be, but it became clear to everyone that it was time to flee from such a dangerous place. The bathyscaphe cave began to ascend to the surface and when it could be examined from the outside, everyone was simply shocked. Clear indentations were visible on the thick metal, as if someone had tried to bite through the ship's walls. Naturally, this story was tried to be covered up so that the public wouldn't find out anything. Otherwise, there would have been a real panic in the world. But what could have caused such damage to the super strong Bathys cave? The scientists who observed the events suggested that it could have been an ancient species of giant shark, the Megalodon. Its teeth are still found in various parts of the world's ocean, and the fact of the disappearance and demise of this animal has not yet been proven. Moreover, the Mariana Trench has become one of the most closed and inaccessible places on the planet. Perhaps these giant sharks are just trying to hide from us in this dreadful place? And who actually made the sounds I mentioned earlier? Ah, so many questions and so few answers. But the Megalodon is not the only shark that could inhibit the vicinity of the Mariana Trench. Take for example, the Goblin Shark. Personally, this animal scares me. Personally, this animal scares me. In general, this species of shark has long been considered extinct. But people managed to catch one specimen about 100 years ago, and it's truly a remarkable creature. The thing is, the oldest remains of this shark were about 150 million years old. Amazing, isn't it? Overall, this species of shark is truly amazing. The thing is, it is an organ that allows it to detect the tiniest electromagnetic impulses. No, this doesn't mean that the entire global ocean knows when you turn on the kettle. It means that the goblin shark can sense signals within the brain of an animal nearby. So, it's an excellent way to quickly locate its prey. But what scares me is not that. The thing is, because of its huge nose, the goblin shark might seem like a hopeless hunter, but that's not the case. The thing is, its jaw is incredibly flexible. It can easily catch its prey as the jaw extends almost to the edge of the nose. And it looks very frightening. Also, at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, you can find a plant that looks amazing called the ping pong tree. But don't think it's harmless, because it's better not to touch this amazing tree as it is carnivorous. And as you might have guessed, only the strongest survive in the Mariana Trench. But for us humans, there is no need to worry too much. It's the small animals, often crustaceans, that should worry about their lives. The thing is, if such a creature touches the tree, it won't be able to escape, as the plant will capture it. And then, it will slowly suck all the juices out of it. <laughs> Sounds scary, doesn't it? But even this plant doesn't surprise me as much as the animal I'll tell you about next. It's the amazing Mariana snailfish. What's so special about it that I praise it? Well, it inhibits great depths as an invertebrate. 
It was first discovered only in 2014, and scientists were simply shocked then. The thing is, finding a living creature at such a tremendous depth is a real miracle. But what does it actually take to survive in such conditions? Well, for this fish, for example, it has transparent skin. The thing is, it lacks any pigment. Also, the fish's internal organs are enlarged and the muscles are very thin. And the fish also has incomplete ossification, so essentially, it's just an ordinary underwater slug. Scientists also claim that the animal cannot see. However, it still reacts to light. In general, this Mariana snailfish is a strange and amazing little creature. By the way, I've noticed one amazing feature here. The deeper an animal lives, the scarier it looks. Why do I think so? Well, just look at the anglerfish. Doesn't it seem to you that such a monster shouldn't live on our planet? Well, to be honest, anglerfish are very remarkable animals. For example, they have a special organ, a specialized appendage. It allows the fish to emit light. So, it's kind of like a flashlight. But why is it needed at depths where there's absolutely no light? As I've already told you, even if the inhabitants of the depths have no vision, they still react to light. And when some kind of glow appears in pitch darkness, all the inhabitants strive to reach it and fall into the jaws of this monster. It has many sharp teeth that can easily bite flesh, and the anglerfish also has a very interesting stomach. It can stretch several times, allowing the predator to swallow prey larger than itself. And another interesting fact, all these huge and terrifying specimens turn out to be female. After all, male specimens are much smaller than their ladies, and they're not as voracious, and it's also very difficult to find boys. Why? Because for mating, they embed themselves in the flesh of the female specimen. So they cling to her surface for a long time until they simply fuse with her. And then fertilization occurs, and in general, these anglerfish are quite creepy creatures. And also at great depths, you can find... Yes, an octopus. True, the species of these little ones is not fully understood, and it's not clear whether they are dangerous to humans. But I'm still amazed that one such specimen was found at a depth of 23,000 feet. This is Grampo Tethius. And it must be said, for a deep sea dweller, it's too cute. This amazing chubby creature has a gelatinous body, thanks to which it doesn't turn into a pancake at such depths. And it also has ears that look like elephant ears. True, they're not needed to listen to what's happening around, but to swim. And these octopuses also have very sensitive eyes that detect the slightest signs of light. But how could such cuteness survive in such harsh conditions? Well, even if someone attacks it, the octopus can simply shed its ghostly skin. It's a decoy that will confuse the predator, and the octopus will swim away from danger at a tremendous speed. By the way, these cute chubby creatures are actually predators themselves. They feed on worms, snails and mollusks. And when such an octopus opens its mouth, it seems that it's not that cute and harmless bun, but a real kraken. In general, yes, very interesting creatures. But the most surprising find for scientists turned out to be not so unusual for us. The thing is, during a dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, at 6 miles, researchers found a plastic bag with a preserved inscription urging people to return to the store. And no, it wasn't a bag from an underwater supermarket for aliens and megalodons, it was that same trash that we throw every day. Scientists also found candy wrappers and even a beer bottle. And these findings became the most frightening for humanity. The thing is, our ocean is already very polluted. You've probably heard about the garbage island that formed as a result of constant waste dumping into the ocean, and this is a very big problem. After all, even large animals can get tangled in a plastic bag and die, not to mention sturdy fishing gear and other pieces of trash. The same cute turtles can swallow plastic and die from poisoning. And the fact that all this can reach the bottom is even more frightening. Just imagine, people have only just started to explore the bottom of the Mariana Trench. 
There, you can find so much more interesting stuff. Millions of new species of animals. And maybe even civilizations hidden from us? And here, they're all at risk of disappearing because of the trash that we throw away. In fact, this is a very big problem that should be solved as soon as possible. After all, scientists already say that our trash can destroy all life in the ocean. Today, I've told you the most interesting facts about the Mariana Trench. Which one did you like the most? Personally, I am most amazed by the professionalism of those who created the diving apparatus that can withstand such pressures. And you know where else professionals are needed? In our team! Friends, you have the opportunity to join our team. If you have video editing skills, can voice over videos in Russian, English, and other languages, or write interesting scripts, we'll be happy to work with you! Write to our Telegram bot through the link in the description, and thank you for watching!